Hey, welcome back. I'm John F. Gately. So today at the weaponization of government hearing, Representative Sylvia Garcia from Houston. Oh my God, if this is your congresswoman, I feel bad for you. She thoroughly embarrassed herself on uh, a number of different issues. First, and a very important constitutional issue relative to um, the First Amendment and journalistic sources. And then after that, she uh, revealed that she doesn't know much about the internet or journalism uh, in particular. So let's let's just dive in here to start with. She's uh, questioning Matt Taibbi of the Twitter files today. Here we go. Listen. When was the first time that Mr. Musk approached you about writing uh, uh, the Twitter files? So this is kind of a backdoor question to get... Taibi to admit that Musk is the actual source rather than just being Twitter as the source. Again, Congresswoman, that would... Uh, I just need a date, sir. But I can't give it to you, unfortunately, because this, this is a question of sourcing, and I don't give up. I'm it's a journalist. A, I don't reveal my source. source. It's a question of chronology. No, that's a question because of sourcing. Because you earlier said that, that someone had sent you through the Internet some message about whether or not you would be interested in some information. Yes, and I refer to that person as a source. So you're not going to tell us when Musk first approached you? Again, Congressman, so you you're, asking me to yes no. you're asking your journalist to reveal so a source. So then you consider Mr. Musk to be the direct source of all this? You know, it used to be a time where Democrats and Republicans, and especially Democrats, would defend a journalist's right to protect their sources. Now, now Democrats want to pressure, under congressional questioning, journalists to reveal their sources. Hmm, how times have changed. No, now you're you're trying to get me to say that he is the source. I, 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 well, I just can't answer your question. Well, he either is or he isn't. Or... If you're telling me you can't answer because it's your source, well, then that the only logical conclusion is that he is, in fact, your source. Well, you're free to conclude that. And Taibbi is quite bright, and he doesn't fall for it. You know, this is not, by the way, as far as I'm concerned, an endorsement of everything Taibbi's written or said, but he's pretty bright, and he's not falling for this congresswoman's trick. Let's jump ahead and see how bright Representative Garcia is. Free license to look at everything, but yet you yourself posted on your, your um, I guess it's kind of like a web page, and don't quite understand what Substack is, but uh, that... I guess it's kind of like a web page. I don't understand what Substack is. <laughs> uh, and, and this is who governs us. Uh, Mr. Schellenberger, the same question, sir. When did you first... Uh, visit with or get contacted by Mr. Musk. I'm not going to reveal my sources, but like I said, I was invited by Barry Weiss. And I'm not was... asking for sources, sir. I'm just asking yeah. for chronology. I was... When did you first make contact with Mr. Musk? I don't know the exact date. Was it? It was December. It was December. December of, well, there's a lot of Decembers in December history. December of last which, year. Which December? December of last year, man. December 1952, right? No, of course, it was December last year, duh. Yeah. Last year, the 20, uh, 22? Yes. All right. Now, in, um, in your discussion, in your answer, you also said that you were invited by a friend, Barry Weiss? My friend, Barry Weiss. Oh, wait for it. Oh, it's going to get good. Hold on. So this friend works for Twitter, or what is, what is her? Um... She's a journalist. That's actually Taibi's voice. He's chiming in and answering the question. <laughs> if you're a congresswoman and you're at the weaponization of a government uh, committee and you don't know who Barry Weiss is, maybe you shouldn't be on the committee. Just say it. Sir, I didn't ask you a question. I'm, I'm now asking Mr. Schellenberger a question. Please yes, ma'am. Barry interrupt. Weiss is a journalist. I'm sorry, sir? She's a journalist. She's a journalist. So you work in concert with her? Um, yeah. Do you know when she first... Um... So let's see if we can angle in some hearsay evidence here. Was contacted by Mr. Musk. I, I don't know. You don't know. So you're in this as a threesome? Yeah, oh my god. So you're in this as a threesome? Um, there was many more people involved than that. There was many more people involved with it. 
And then with absolutely no irony, she then goes on to attack their integrity. Are you getting paid here? Are you being paid to be here today, either through consulting fees, <sighs> no. campaign contributions absolutely to your not. next run? Dental absolutely ladies, time is, have an interview Dental scheduled ladies, after time this is hearing? Expired. Absolutely not. Dental absolutely. ladies, time Thank is you. expired. Thank you. So at this point, they're, they're literally laughing at her. In fact, you can see people in the audience behind, they're laughing. Somewhere in Washington, D.C. right now, Schellenberger and Taibbi are having a beer, and they can't get the grin off their face, right? This Woody, uh, Congresswoman, uh, Sylvia Garcia embarrassed herself, beclowned herself, I guess is the phrase on Twitter all the time. And uh, boy, uh, what a joke. Hey, I'm John F. Gately from America's hometown, Plymouth, Massachusetts, behind enemy lines. Have a great day. Bye.